What is up guys, it's XV Mods here and this video is on the Teapot YouTube channel. So basically we're going to be running through some real basic tutorials, trying to make everything easy for you guys. So I'm going to switch on my console, <laughs> wrong one. And by the way this video is going to be about updating the NAND. I found a console with 17.5.11 and I'm going to update that to 17.526 so we can get online. <laughs> There's some weird ass accounts on here, but you'll see. <laughs> Seventeen five eleven. So, let's update this. Where shall we begin? First, we're going to want to go on to the Teapot website. Let's close up all this other crap. Right, so the website is Teapot Live. Dot US. Alternatively, you can just search on Google. We're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to download XE Build. Wait for that to download. I'm just going to save it to desktop. I made a folder called Teapot. So be a raw file, so you're gonna need WinRAR or any alternative thing that extracts wins, WinRAR and zip and all that shit. Okay, so we're gonna open it and then we're gonna extract. You might need to tick this one and then save. So then it's gonna open it after it's extracted it. Okay, so then we're going to have all this stuff. We're going to open this. Wait for that to load. Same time, we're going to open up Neighborhood. Size to load. Okay, I'm gonna find the IP address of the console. Connect to this one. Configure network and wait for that to show an IP address. There we go. Then we're going to type this into neighborhood. Let's see, build decides to load. Okay. 192.167.0.230. There we go. Yes, finish. And then we've got the Xbox showing up there. <clears throat> now that is connected through neighborhood. So when that loads, we're going to double click it. And then when this loads, good old neighborhood, super fast. I'm going to go to hard drive. And then from hard drive, this folder will be in the download description. Uh, description, sorry, <laughs> the download for it. 
So what we're going to want to do first is copy this, paste this here. I don't know why I have a CPU key dot bin. It's pointless. Another cool little thing you guys should know. If you have just bought an RGH and you're setting up for the first time and you notice in your hard drive there's no KV.bin, that's perfectly normal. If the console was RGH'd from a working retail online, the actual KV will be in the NAND. So it won't be in a hard drive, it will be in your flash. So you will have your KV.bin there. And when you connect to your stealth server, your server will read the KV from the NAND instead of a hard drive. When you place a KV onto the hard drive and a CPU key dot bin or text, it will actually, the server will read what's on the hard drive and set it as the console's KV while you're on that stealth server. So that's just something good to know. Obviously, if your KV on the retail side, when it was retail, is banned, then you'll need to get a KV in place on the hard drive. So, we're going to open up a simple NAND flasher by double clicking that. And you can see the current dashboard. And what we're going to do is click X, and that's going to dump our NAND. It'll take a few seconds. Okay, a little bit more than a few seconds, but you get where I'm going. Okay, now that's done. I'm going to press any button to exit. It's going to bring us back to the dashboard. We're then going to click this again, and we now have our flash dump dot bin. So we're going to copy that. <clears throat> Just going to paste this inside of here. make a little folder inside just to keep it neat. So this is this is my Modern Warfare 3 console. One I RGH, no this one I didn't RGH. This one was, I bought this one before I RGH consoles. <laughs> so we're gonna make a little folder called Modern Warfare 3 console NAND. And then we're gonna pop that in there. Now, we're going to call this one, we're we'll making a new folder, call this 17511. This NAND is on 17511 at the moment. Just keeping it all neat, you know. We're then going to drag XE build here. We're going to drag the flash dump dot bin into the source file. And you can see it's now opened that up. And it's found out it's a Corona and it's an RGH2, which is correct. Now, one thing we're missing here is the CPU key, which we can get from a couple of methods. If you know how to use tools, you can make this process a lot easier by opening up your favorite tool and grabbing the CPU key. And then you can copy that to your clipboard and paste it here. What we're going to do, as you guys are probably beginners, we're going to actually, unfortunately, do this the hard way. Well, not the hard way, just the tedious way. So, we're going to go to dash launch. Another way you can do this is you can turn the console off and press the disk tray button to boot Excel. And your CPU key and your DVD key will show there. You want to press RB on here. And we're going to go system info. And we've got the CPU key here. So we're going to type that in. Now, you can't really fuck this part up because if you put it in wrong, that will stay as an X. As soon as you put it in right, it decrypts the NAND and that becomes a tick. So it's just like the key to the door, you know? Think of it like that. So I'm going to type this out with you guys right now. So it's going to be an ED89. 89, 89177E. 
BD. 3BD, 3948, 48, D63, D, D63, 91F0, and that's correct. Now we've got the little tick there. If you want, you can check KV. It tells you the console information, DVD key, all that good shit. And then we're gonna make sure all that's right. Kernel version, that's our dashboard. That's the one we want, 17526. And we're gonna click generate hacked image. So it's gonna do that. And then we're going to click cancel just to leave the log there. I like, I like looking at it, okay? It makes me feel like a big hacker man. Okay, so this is our updated one for 17.526. I'm just going to drag this here. We're going to keep this safe just in case we ever need to reflash our NAND. So I'm going to call this 17.526. I'm going to drag that there, go into there. <clears throat> now, we're going to copy this in here. Uh, also, another way you can do this is you can stick your UPD flash dot bin onto the root of the USB, turn the console off, and then press Excel and just leave it there for a few minutes and it will flash and land. We're going to do it this way. So we're going to delete flash dump dot bin because that's our 17.5.11 one. We don't want to confuse it. So this is our new one. We're going to double click this to launch the executable. And then, as you can see, a few more options have unlocked because it recognizes the UPD flash dot bin. So we're going to click A to flash our NAND with raw flash v4. Click A. Then we click press start. So we click start, sorry. And now we just wait for that. But we're nearly there, guys. Also, another warning if you're on a NAND KV, which is unbanned, and you're struggling with this, don't give your NAND to anybody or your CPU key. Because if they have that, they can extract your KV and they can steal your KV. So if you guys need help doing this, feel free to comment on the video and I'll happily help. Okay, so we, that's rebooting now, and then we just wait for that, turn our controller on. And when we go to settings, ta-da, 17526, awesome. So now the next video will be us putting the teapot live files on. Okay, so now the next video will be us putting the Teapot Live files on and then getting connected to Xbox Live for the first time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys again soon.